Conspiracy theories have attracted the attention of many people throughout the ages. They range from questioning the US moon landing, the real story behind 9-11, and even deaths of rap stars such as Tupac. News and Views brings you a documentary on some anomalies that have been discovered in Denver Airport, Colorado, and on what we believe authorities have attempted to cover up about the mysterious characteristics of this airport. Any traveler to Denver Airport, Colorado is in for a scary experience. This airport has been the subject of many questions due to the unexplainable symbols, images, and stories that have surfaced. Denver Airport was built in 1995 on a span of 53 square miles. Even though Denver already had a functioning airport, a new one was decidedly built. This new airport had less runways and absolutely no new technological advancement. The only thing that this new airport has that the old one didn't is a strangely large amount of space. When looking at an aerial shot of the new airport, the layout has shocked many. Denver Airport's runways have been situated in such a way that resembles a Nazi swastika. Not only has the shape of Denver Airport been called to question, but also what is located inside. But who is in charge of all the weird nuances at this airport? The general consensus is that it is the New World Order. But who are the New World Order? Well, they are an elite group of individuals that include many of the world's wealthiest the people, world order. such as well-known political leaders, and those related to the British Crown. But their main goal is to create one united world government that has no regional boundaries. But this would only be possible in one way, and that is to commit a mass genocide and narrow down the world's population to two billion people. Their reasoning for this thought is because there would be more control. Denver Airport has a myriad of symbols that are correlated to the New World Order. There is a dedication stone in the airport that mentions the New World Airport Commission. However, there is no such thing. The New World Airport Commission is made up and was never created. One can only assume that it is alluding to the New World Order. Also. There is a plate on the floor that shows the symbols AUAG. Some may say that this is related to gold and silver. However, one of the sponsors of the airport discovered a new deadly strain of hepatitis known as Australian antigen, and this is also symbolized by AUAG. What is scary is that this symbol is located right in front of a mural on a wall that is about genocide. But let's talk more about the murals in Denver Airport. The murals located in the airport are the most notable features of this airport. The main mural stretches over four walls and was painted by Chicano artist Leo Tanguma, who was in fact Mayan. The first mural here shows three dead women, an African, a Native American, and a young Jewish girl. In the background, we can see the destruction of a city and a forest. This attempts to show the destruction of the world. Another notable part of this mural is the fact that there is a little girl carrying a Mayan tablet. This alludes to the Mayan date of December 21st, 2012. This is when the Mayans predict that the world is going to go through a rebirth phase. The main emphasis of this mural, once again, is the destruction of the world and the preservation of some life. The second mural shows a huge military figure wearing a gas mask and holding a machine gun and a sword. This sword is stabbing a dove which is the symbol for peace and implies that peace will be destroyed. There are grayish waves emanating from the figure, and these waves represent death, 
or in this case, a poisonous gas that has killed everyone in its path. This mural is the one with the AUAD symbol, the one that is related to the deadly virus strain. One can also see a line of weeping women holding their dead infants and a group of dead children on a pile of bricks. The emphasis of this mural is of, of a cleansing that is going to kill a myriad of people in its path. However, interestingly enough, this mural has been painted over in recent years.